there are times when you feel everyone is against you there are times when you feel that the system is designed to bring you down and there is nothing you can do to avoid it such was a feeling going on in Aurobindo Ghosh's life you see the story I am going to talk about is the incident of the Alipur bomb case in the year 1908 two bombs were blasted in the hope of killing presidency magistrate Douglas Kingsford however they were unable to execute their plan and were caught Aurobindo Ghosh who was the mastermind behind the plan was brought to trial in court courts in those days were held by British judges and the law was biased towards British favor it was almost certain that Aurobindo was going to be executed by the method of hanging no lawyer was confident enough to go against the British court it was beyond question that Aurobindo had no way out of this in such troubled times there was one junior barrister who volunteered to take up this case the trial lasted from May 1908 till May 1909, almost a year. And during this time, there were 206 witnesses and there were 400 documents which were filed and 5,000 exhibits that were produced. All through this, that junior lawyer challenged the British courts again and again. He was persistent that Aurobindo should be spared from hanging. This man was none other than Chittaranjan Das. It was said that the British lawyers were doing their level best, gathering as much as evidence as they could find. But Chittaranjan Das, keeping Vivekananda's ideals and reforms in his heart, refuted against the British judiciary. It was said that he alone was the only one who not only rivaled against British lawyers by skill, but even far exceeded them. And he even spent 15,000 rupees from his own expenses for the case, which was a huge amount at that time before India got its independence. Finally, the judges had nothing to do but oblige to him and release Aurobindo Ghosh. This was one of the biggest victories for Indian freedom struggle, where an Indian lawyer with all odds against him could even make the British government bow down and yield to his might. Aurobindo Ghosh was so overwhelmed by Chittaranjan's grace that he gave him the honorary title of Desh Bandhu, meaning friend of the nation. And Ghosh, following this incident, emerged as a sage and a prominent figure in Indian history. As for Chittaranjan Das, he went on to become one of the most prominent freedom fighters in India and was remarked by great minds such as Gandhi, Nehru, Vivekananda and many others. However, the one who grieved his death the most in 1925 was Netaji Shubhas Chandra Bose, who credited Desh Bandhu for his assistance and even considered him as his mentor. Thank you. My name is Sambit Sanyal and this was my story on Chittaranjan Das.